our backs to begin. through the lower back, the outer hip, and along the thighs, the top of the knees. Maybe rest the eyes or invite them to close fully. We'll take a few big breaths as we check in with the body, check in with ourselves. And maybe draw attention to what we need, what we want from this practice, from this time together this morning. Maybe it's just movement, maybe it's connection, maybe it's deeper breath, maybe it's something more. draw the breath in through the nose, sending the breath to all the places in the body that need a little bit more tension today. As you exhale, let the breath just wash over the body, carrying it with it, anything you don't wish to hold onto as you move through this practice. Begin to lift the knees. Let's heel toe the feet in line with the hips. Let's open the arms, send them all the way up and over. The head reaching palms to sky and then draw the shoulders back and down along the spine until they hug the earth. Take a big breath in. Guide the knees over to the right. Keep the gaze up towards the sky, neutral. Just let gravity carry the knees to the right side, keeping the, uh, the, the heart revolved, trekking up towards the ceiling. Feel the length through the spine as you reach the fingers up and out overhead. Draw the navel in towards the front of the spine. Take a deep breath in, find neutral, Hug the midline with the knees and then exhale over to the opposite side. And then inhale, knees to neutral. Lengthen the left leg long on the mat. Bring the hands to the top of the right knee. Hug that knee in towards the chest. Let's roll the ankle. And then we'll use the right and the left hand to gently guide the right knee in a circular motion. Just rolling in the hip space. And then changing up the flow, moving in the opposite way. Half happy baby, release the right sole of the foot. 
the sky, reach with the right hand, open that hip and then hug in a thigh to outer rib. Maybe slide that left hand on top of the left hip, just some gentle pressure, grounding through the back of the legs and the back body. Happy baby, keep the right knee here. We'll reach for our strap. Take the strap around the sole of the foot. And then strap in both hands or whatever you're using for a strap. Begin to lengthen through the right heel. The leg doesn't have to be completely straight. You can find a pinch of bend in the right knee. We're just seeking the length in the back of this leg. We're moving cautiously, carefully. Continue to breathe, scoop that lower belly up and in. Send the shoulders back and down. We'll take a few more breaths. Bring both straps into the right hand. Take the left hand to the top of the left hip. Apply some pressure there to anchor that hip bone and begin to open the right leg to the right side. Again, the knee can be bent. We're just moving cautiously. We move out of here, activate that right inner thigh and begin to traction it towards the midline, flexing through the foot. Strap comes into that left hand, we're crossing the body. Reach the right hand to the right side, gently bring it over. Just a little bit, we're into the IT band, so we may not go too far. And then slowly bring it back to neutral, bend that right knee, unhook the strap. Send that right leg long on the mat. Draw that left knee in towards the chest, reach with the hands, roll the ankle. And then using the hands, begin to circle that left hip. baby on the left. Release the left foot, reach with the left hand and then open that left hip. If you practice yesterday, the hips might be a little tight or tense, maybe a little sore from our class. Find the breath. Release that left knee to chest, reach for the strap again. Wrap the strap around the ball of the left foot. Strap in both hands, gently begin to extend the leg. Again, reaching, lengthening as much as you like, or keeping a deep bend. So listen to the body. 
meet yourself where you're at. One more full round of breath and then transfer both straps into the left hand. Bring the right hand down to the right hip, gentle pressure to anchor this right leg. Open left leg to left side. Again, we'll focus on this inner thigh. Begin to draw the inner thigh as you traction the left foot towards the midline. Strap comes into the right hand. Open left arm to left side. Begin to guide that left foot over. Whew. Should feel that IT bend pretty quickly. It's often a spot we can forget about. And our stretching so it gets really tight especially if you're a runner or a bicyclist a cyclist I guess big breath and then draw it back to neutral on head for strap bend the knee bring it down to the ground Bring both knees into the chest. We're gonna rock and roll forwards and backwards. If the spine feels okay, just begin to come up and down. We'll roll out the spine and then we're gonna catch the basana, both posts. One more time. I'm gonna flip myself around so I can face you guys. Finding the basana, bow posture. Bending the knees, reaching through the balls of the feet. Hands can be at the back of the thighs. If you'd like, you can rotate palms to sky. Take some deep breaths. Reach down to the sits bones, lengthen through the crown of the head. I'm gonna build and generate some heat in the belly here. Take another deep breath. And then with the hands, bring them behind the body, coming to the fingertips. Open the chest, walk the shoulder blades together. Take an inhale. As you exhale, contract, bring the knees to the chest, and then we'll send the legs out, send the chest back and down, bend into the elbows, and then draw it together. This is a really good way to generate heat in the core. Three more. You got this. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. Cross the legs. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Side stretch. Right arm reaches over as you exhale. Inhale. Breathe it up and over. Exhale. Second side. Inhale, lengthen. Fold over the legs, exhale. Open through the back body, take some big breaths. Just nestling the sits bones down on the ground, reaching through the fingertips, through the back body. And the navel comes in towards the spine, begin to roll up. Let's find our way to all fours. If knees are sensitive, bring a blanket underneath to add 
provide some cushion. If wrists or shoulders are sensitive, maybe find blocks underneath the palms or come to forearm. We'll start with cat cow, open the chest, inhale the breath, lift the tail, lift the gaze. Exhale, scoop the belly in, round through the back body. Send the gaze to the top of the thigh. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, curl in. Move with your breath, not bound to my cues, just listening to your own rhythm. One more. And then back to neutral spine. Inhale, reach the right arm to sky. Thread the needle, exhale. Right arm comes underneath the left. Come to the right shoulder, right ear. And then release this left leg to the left side. Wrap down to the edge of the left foot. Maybe release this left hand behind the spine towards the top of the right hip. Maybe keep it under the shoulder or reach the hand forwards. Your choice. We're just drawing down to the outer edge of that right shoulder. Lifting the tail. And then bring that left hand beneath the left shoulder, release the left knee under the hip. Push down as you inhale, sweep the right arm to sky. Exhale, bring that right hand down, ready for second side. Inhale, left arm lifts. Thread the needle, exhale. Left shoulder connects. Step the right leg out, wrap right through the edge of the right foot, and then find a variation with the right arm. And then release right hand beneath the right shoulder, right knee under right hip. Push down, big breath, inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, back to all fours. Tuck the toes underneath the body, take a full belly breath. Down dog, exhale, lift the hips, roll the body back and down. Begin to pedal the feet. Reach one heel down, soften through the opposite leg. Maybe bring a twist. Maybe shake the head. And then we'll settle down to down dog. Find a nice long down dog, take a deep breath in. Audible exhale, <sighs> sighing the breath out. On an inhale, lift the right leg to sky. On an exhale, cross the body, right knee comes behind, left elbow. Inhale, breathe it back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale. Knee to nose, exhale and hold. Hug in, you can lower that left knee to the earth. And then inhale, breathe it up and back. Warrior one, step it forwards. Wrap the left foot, set the left heel down, take a deep breath in, breathe the hands to sky. Take that left hip forwards, Whew. left hip forwards, lengthen, take the right knee over the right ankle, shoulders down and away from the ears. Big breaths, just feel the warrior one shape. First time here this morning.
On the inhale, reach through the fingers, open through the outer edges of the side body. Exhale, bring the hands down to frame the right foot. Come to the ball of the left foot, breathe the right leg to sky. Inhale, down dog, exhale. Take an inhale through the nose. Audible exhale, side of the breath. Left leg lifts, inhale. Cross the body, left knee, right elbow. Inhale. Left knee, left elbow. Inhale the breath. Knee to nose and pause. Fire up the belly, pushes the heels apart. Send it back, big breath in. Warrior one, step it forwards. Take your time. Open the right toes. And then breathe. Hands come all the way up and over. Right hip draws forward. Left hip brings back or comes back. Knee right over the ankle. Shoulders down. Heart lifted. Face, jaw relaxed. Big breath. And then reach through the fingers, inhale. Exhale, frame that left foot. Come to the ball of the right foot. Sweep the left leg up and back, inhale. Down dog, exhale. And then rock on to the balls of the feet, down to the knees, back to all fours. Untuck the toes. Release that right leg, send the left arm forward, inhale. Knee to elbow, cross the body, exhale. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, finally, exhale, cross, curl and contract. Two more. Inhale and pause. Bring that left hand down, keep the right leg lifted. Inhale, open the heart, we'll take a chaturanga halfway. Exhale, head the elbows into the outer rib, reach the shoulder heads forward. And then inhale, lift, draw the right toes down to the ground. We're opening to a modified side plank. Turn the toes or left toes to the left side, left hand stays down, right arm reaches. Option to stay here. Option to lift that right leg to sky. Option to release the left leg forwards, scissoring the legs. We'll flow with the arm. Inhale as you reach through the right fingers. Exhale, take the right arm underneath. Inhale and lift. Exhale, wrap and wrap. Two more. If that left leg's lifted, bring it back underneath. If the right leg's lifted, bring it back to the ground. Rotate back to all fours, left leg still lifted. Right toes are tucked. Draw the left knee into the chest and hold. Hold, 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 fire that belly. Inhale, send the left leg up and back. And then downward facing dog, exhale. Take a breath. And then roll back to all fours. And tuck the toes, left leg lifts, right arm reaches. Inhale, cross the body, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, exhale. Last two. Last one. Inhale, reach. 
Bring that right hand down. Exhale, chaturanga halfway. Hold. Squeeze the elbows. Shoulder heads reach forward. Lift the chest on an inhale. Bring the left toes down. Exhale. Opening to the left side. Finding your variation of side plank. Leg can be down, leg can be lifted, or you can reach the right leg in front of the left. Inhale, fingertips reach. Exhale, wrap the right rib cage with the left hand. Inhale, find the flow. Use your breath to guide. Two more. Last one. Reach. Reset that right leg, left foot, and then find all fours. Left toes are tucked, fingers spread. Draw the right knee to chest and we'll hold. Inhale, right leg reaches up and back. Down dog, exhale. Take a moment. Send the gaze between the hands. Come onto the balls of the feet. Bend the knees, jump or walk to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale and hold. Find the length here. Through the tail, through the crown of the head, gaze is down. So we're not creaking the neck. Shift into the front of the feet. Soften gently through the knees. Fold forwards, release the breath. Hands to sky, big breath in. From here, wrap opposite hand with the opposite elbow. See if you can create this little window around the head without shrinking the shoulders too much towards the ears. Just find some space. Push down into the feet, inhale, reach up through the elbows. Exhale, over to the right side. Push down through the feet, inhale, find neutral. Exhale, second side. Inhale back to neutral, bend the knees. Now we're in chair, exhale. Head the inner thighs together. Pull the pelvic floor up and in, find that length. And then see if you can hold this length of space, but open the arms to goddess. Set the shoulders down. Beautiful. Continue to send the shoulders down and away. Take the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Draw them down as you open the heart just a little bit more, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Legs are still active, belly still engaged. Hold this connection. If it becomes too much, you can always find opposite hand to opposite elbow behind the spine. Push down into that left foot. We're going to lift the right knee towards the chest. Flex through the right foot. Warrior three, we're playing, don't overthink. Begin to transition. Reach that right foot back, lengthen through the crown of the head. You can release the fingers and bring them to the sides if it's too intense. Stepping it back to a high crescent, bend the left knee, reach the right toes, set it down, lift. Beautiful. Release the fingers, inhale, breathe them overhead. Reach through that back heel. On that next exhale, we'll aeroplane, reach the chest and crown forward, sweep the arms back and down. Inner arm hugs out of mid body.
I'm making a big circle with the right arm for fine warrior two, cartwheel the arms, open warrior two. Set the hands at shoulder height. The chest will naturally want to inch forward, bring it back in between both legs. Rotate left palm to sky, take a deep breath, reach forward and then guide that hand up and over. Send the gaze to the back leg. Right hand can reach down the right leg or swim behind the spine to the top of that left hip. And triangles where we're headed. Begin to draw that left knee back, lengthen the legs. Release the left arm forward and then we'll pivot. Right arm reaches. I can bend this left knee. I can reach for my block here and bring my hand to my block. What we see happening here is this top shoulder dropping, this left hip pulling back and the right hip collapsing. You want to send that hip forward, open the top hip, open the top shoulder by rotating externally and then lifting. So we're creating this length through the body. And then we're gonna fire up those inner thighs. Squeeze them together, reverse triangle, breathe the body back. And then slowly we'll begin to pivot. Transition, bring the hands down to the ground. Right heel lifts, we're in full runner's lunge. Take a minute, open up the top of this right hip flexor. to flow, push into the fingertips or blocks, inhale, lift the chest, draw the hips up and back, release the left leg, chest comes over that left leg as you exhale. We'll shift forwards and backwards with our breath, inhale as you lengthen, exhale, lift the hips, draw the chest down, exhale the breath. More breaths. I know it's a tight, sticky space. And then slowly begin to lift the gaze. Bend the left knee. Kick up and up. We're going to lift this right leg to standing split, chest comes down, we're just going to hold. If you'd like, you can bring that left hand to the back of the left calf, maybe challenge the balance, 
can always play with bringing the right hand to the back of the calf. Just options. And then bring that right leg slowly down to meet the left. Forward fold. Let's hang here for a moment. Maybe ragdoll, connect opposite elbow, opposite hand. Perhaps sway just a moment side to side. Reach up through the elbows and then open back to goddess. Pay attention to the neck and the jaw. Just continue to invite them to rest and to relax. Keeping the chest open, bring the hands behind, interlace in that non-habitual way. Walk the shoulders back and down, shoulder blades together. Collarbones lifted, chin gently lifted. This time we're pushing down into that right leg. We're sending the left leg up towards the chest. Find your balance. Set the gaze on something in front of you that's not moving. Feel that connection through the right leg. Transition warrior three, begin to kick the left leg back, reaching the chest down. Find this position, a shape with the arm that works for you, for your body. And then we're coming to crescent bend, the right leg, reach the left toes back. Lift the chest nicely done. Inhale the hands overhead, inhale, big breath. Drop the shoulders. Let everything go. Inhale, gaze comes up to the fingers. Airplane, exhale, draw the chest forward. Send the arms back. Look at this nice line we've created through the body. We're transitioning, warrior two. Use that left hand, open. Warrior two. Adjust the stance as you need. Bring the body directly in between the legs. Shoulders come down. Opening through the hips. Really powerful stance. Right palm lifts to sky. Take a deep breath, reach it forward. Breathe it back, reverse warrior. Send the gaze to the back leg. Triangle, begin to lift the right leg back, draw it back towards the body, reach the right arm forward. Transition. If you have a tendency to hyperextend, which is my natural tendency with this right leg, especially just maybe bring a tiny bend there and then pivot from the hip space again, externally rotate through the top shoulder. Opening across the chest, really expanding the body.
inner thighs hug, begin to transition, reverse triangle, right arm lifts, breathe it back, maybe left hand comes down the back leg, maybe it comes behind the body and wraps. We'll slowly begin to cartwheel down to all fours, lift the left heel, wrap that left hip down, stay for a few breaths, explore this shape, explore this pose. And then we'll start that flow, open the chest, inhale, draw it back, lift the hips, Exhale. Use your breath to just gently rock you forwards and backwards. top of the mat and then we'll step that left foot in just a little bit shortening the stance lengthen both legs here now here we may need a block again coming to pyramid both feet are parallel inhale lift the chest exhale draw this right hip back left hip forwards and you can rest hands on a block you can use two blocks Maybe fingertips, maybe even your traditional reverse prayer behind the chest, but we haven't done too much in the shoulders, so just be careful if you go there. Big breaths. And set the gaze forward. We're coming towards standing split. Bend and gently kick off. Creep the hands forwards. Lift that left leg. Draw the chest down. If you chose to challenge the balance on the first side, maybe bring the right hand to the back of the right thigh. Maybe the left hand to the back of the right thigh, or right calf. no hands. Entirely up to you. Another inhale and then bring that left leg to meet the right. Fold forwards. Just hang heavy here for a moment. Enjoy that length, that space in the back of the legs. And then slowly bend the knees, let's roll to standing. Let me just ragdoll all the way through the spine. Roll the shoulders back and down, lift the heart back into Dasana. Wonderful. From here we'll get back into that IT bend before we come down to the mat. So take the right leg in front of the left. Let's prep our blocks in front of us just in case. And I want you to turn the toes in and the heels out just a smidge. Again, you can bend the knees as much as you need, but we'll inhale, lift and lengthen. We'll fold forwards as you exhale, hands to the ground, hands to a block. And just like in our forward fold, we'll see if you can shift the weight into the front of the feet rather than sending it back into the hip joint. Shift the weight into that IT band hamstring space. Again, this can be tight, tense. So just breathe deeply. If you're a runner or a walker or a cyclist, this can be, I know, intense for you, so. Be very mindful. Well, 
We'll roll all the way out, bend the knees. Bring the hands to the blocks, maybe hands to the hips, slowly come out. All the way to standing. Whew. Shake the legs out. We'll come right back into that second side. Take a minute if you've kind of got a head rush, sometimes going up and down too much, we feel that. And then when you feel ready, you can gently bring the opposite leg in front, turn the toes in, heels out slightly. Bend the knees, we want to avoid pulling or pinching in the knees, so try and accommodate if you feel that sensation. Inhale, fold over the legs, exhale. And then adjust naturally, my bum wants to come behind my um, heels, it just goes in naturally, so then I have to make that adjustment myself, shifting forwards. Two more big breaths. And then lift the chest, bring the hands to blocks or the ground. We're just going to step the right foot back so it's in neutral and bend the knees all the way down. We're coming towards the mat coming down to the spine. If you have your strap nearby, you can reach for the strap. You may or may not need it for this last stretch. Just bring the knees to the chest. Let's just rock side to side. Let the spine settle on the mat. come to neutral. Reach for the strap. Take the strap around the ball of that right foot and reach that right foot to sky. Lengthen the left leg long. Maybe noticing if that feels a bit more accessible now compared to when we first started with this stretch. And then bring the hands down so you can rest the back of the triceps on the ground. Flex through that right heel. And then bring both straps into the left hand. We'll take a twist. Bring the right hand to the right side, shoulder height, palm down. And then we'll slowly take this right leg past the IT bend stretch and all the way over into a twist. It may just hover off the ground. It may come all the way down. You may not need the strap at all. We're just holding on to that length in that right hamstring as we twist. Gaze can stay up towards the sky, you can center over the right shoulder. the gaze back to neutral. Use the leg and the left hand to gently bring it all the way back to the midline. Bend the knee. Unhack the strap. Set that right leg down. We'll bend that left knee into the chest. Hug the strap onto the left foot. And then lengthen that right leg. Reach that left foot towards the sky and then slide the hand down the strap so that the, the triceps can rest. No pressure in the upper body, just in the leg, finding length and space. Take a few more deep breaths before we find that twist.
and then straps go into the right hand. Left arm opens, palm connects. And then begin to take that left leg over towards the right, all the way across the body. And then gaze over the left shoulder. neutral begin to release that left leg bend the knee and hug the strap set the strap off to the side let's take a full happy baby bring the right leg to the chest open the hips bring the knees towards the underarm space maybe find some movement Just play with extending, lengthening one leg, bending the opposite leg to chest, and then bringing that leg to the body, opening the opposite hamstring. One more time, each side. And bring it back in. Release the legs, bring them to chest, roll the knees. If there's any final stretches or poses you'd like to practice before we transition into our Shavasana, you're welcome to. Otherwise, we'll take these next few moments to set ourselves up for relaxation. Bring the body into a comfortable space. Maybe reach for socks, a blanket, eye pillow. Maybe adjust the music or the lighting, whatever you need to, create a really restful, comfortable space for your Shavasana. Let the palms turn towards the ceiling. Let the gaze become heavy or eyes fully closed. Release the breath. Release the mind, allow it to wander freely encouraging it not to attach to any one thought in particular. Just acknowledging thoughts, feelings, emotions, and sensations that arise. And then just allow your entire being to soak up the space, the connection, the energy freedom we created within our own minds and bodies during this time together this morning.
just let awareness settle into the outer body. Noticing sensation of the air and the skin. Noticing the space in the body where the body meets the mat of the earth beneath. Noticing the sound, the sensation, the smell room you're in. Begin to start this journey to reawaken. Maybe bring some movement to the body, the feet, the hands, the knees. Maybe taking a full body stretch, reaching the arms overhead. Maybe curling the body, coming to one side. Taking a moment to reconnect. And then when you feel ready, Slowly bringing yourself into a comfortable seated position. Maybe take the shoulders back and down a few times. Maybe just take the gaze side to side. Release any final spaces of tension. And then we'll close this practice with united breath, emptying the breath completely. Take a big, full inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Press the palms together, exhale, audible sigh. Bring the hands to heart. Thank you for sharing this practice with me today. With love, light, and gratitude. Thank you guys so much for joining. Hopefully there wasn't too many technical issues. Hopefully it didn't pause too many times. But tonight I will be back with um, Flow to Restore at six. And then Jen will be teaching my 12 o'clock class tomorrow. Um, so I will be back on Thursday. But thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are all well and um, I will see you guys soon. Bye.